note-taking fans, today we're comparing two powerful knowledge management tools, Trillium Notes and Obsidian. We'll break down what each one offers, compare them, and help you decide which is best for you. Let's dive in. First up, we have Trillium Notes. It's a hierarchical note-taking app designed for personal knowledge bases. It's open source, self-hosted, and works as a desktop or web app. Trillium shines with its editor, allowing you to copy-paste web content with formatting and images intact. It supports Markdown, K-Text for math, and Web Clipper for capturing online content. You can sync it with a web DAV servers like Box, and it's great for structured, tree-based organization. However, it lacks a dedicated mobile app and real-time collaboration. Now we have Obsidian. This is a Markdown-based note-taking app that creates a knowledge graph through bi-directional linking. It's offline first, storing notes locally, and is highly customizable with a vast plugin ecosystem for calendars, Kanban boards, and more. Obsidian's strength is in its flexibility and community-driven themes and plugins. It supports syncing via third-party services or its paid sync feature, but it's not open source and real-time collaboration is limited. The mobile app is functional but less robust than the desktop version. So, how do they stack up? Well, Trillium is best for structured, self-hosted note-taking with strong web clipping and a database-like feel. It's ideal for solo users who want control and don't need mobile access. Obsidian excels for flexible, interconnected note-taking with a focus on linking ideas, perfect for creative or research-heavy workflows. Its plugins make it versatile, but it requires more setup for syncing. Trillium's open-source edge appeals to privacy fans, while Obsidian's community and customization win for adaptability. Choose Trillium for structured, self-hosted simplicity or Obsidian for flexible, graph-based creativity. Check the chart below for a quick breakdown, and which one's your pick? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching.